the hour of 12 o'clock having arrived and in obedience to the laws of the state of Minnesota, it becomes my duty as your Secretary of State to call the members of the Minnesota House of Representatives to order. On Tuesday, the House officially gaveled in the 2021 legislative session. Typically on the opening day of session, the House chamber is filled with newly elected representatives taking the oath of office with friends and family supporting them from the House gallery. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, only 20 members took their oath in the chamber. 113 members were remotely sworn in by former House Speaker and current Associate Supreme Court Justice Paul Thiessen via Zoom on a large video monitor in the House chamber. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Minnesota and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of the office to which you have just been elected to the best of your ability, so help you God? I do. Yeah, I, I do. do. I do. Congratulations. Once the new members were officially sworn in, it was time to elect a new Speaker of the House. And by a 70 to 57 vote, Representative Melissa Hortman was selected to lead the body for the second straight biennium. We remain the only divided legislature in the country. We can follow the path that the pundits expect us to go down and use committee hearings and floor sessions to demonize and focus on divisions or falsely represent one another's points of view. Or we can serve Minnesota by working together, focusing on the merits of each other's arguments and recognizing that no party has a monopoly on good ideas. Together, we can build a Minnesota that works better for everyone. Representative Mary Murphy was recognized during Tuesday's House floor session for being the longest serving female legislator in state history. According to the Legislative Reference Library, Tuesday was Representative Murphy's 16,000th and 73rd day in office, good for second all-time behind recently retired former Representative Lyndon Carlson. With the 2021 legislative session underway, both sides of the aisle acknowledge there is a lot of work to do before the session must come to an end on May 17th. House Speaker Melissa Hortman and House Minority Leader Kurt Doubt both addressed the media earlier in the week. In some ways, you've seen this movie before, uh, the players haven't changed. Uh, Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka, Governor Tim Walls, and I continue to lead. Um, we have a good working relationship, and my hope is that the ending of the 2021 session will be relatively similar to the end of the 2019 session. We will fight like hell for the principles that we stand for, and no doubt Senate Republicans will do the same. But in the end, I believe that we will compromise and we will enact a budget that's in the best interest of Minnesotans. We're excited to roll up our sleeves and, and get to work, uh, helping the governor uh, with the response to COVID, uh, helping with the uh, economic, uh, economic recovery, uh, which uh, COVID will require uh, once we get back to normal here, um, and then also uh, working through our, uh, our state budget. Uh, those are the biggest things that are going to be facing uh, the House of Representatives this year, and we're eager to be uh, part of the solutions and, and roll up our sleeves and help uh, get Minnesota back to work, get Minnesota back open. And, and do that safely. So um, those are our main objectives this session. Um, we want to make sure that we get our kids back in school, uh, that we get our businesses open safely, uh, that we get the vaccine distributed uh, quickly and in an orderly fashion so that we can get uh, things opened up uh, as quickly as possible and get back to normal. For more coverage on the opening week of the 2021 legislative session, check out our nonpartisan session daily coverage at house.mn session daily.